Like, I'll mess, you mess with me, I'll mess you up. And the mirror's reflection I'm a dancing all with myself But when there's no one else inside But in the crowd and lonely night Well, I wait so long for my love vibration And I'm dancing all with myself Hey everyone, time for another Transformers review. Today I'll be doing yet another Voyager class figure. This time I'll be doing a figure that you guys seen before, but I never actually got to reviewing him until now. So please welcome Voyager class Blackout. Blackout was of course purchased by me for my little brother. You know, I purchased it for him, but of course he paid me back. So it's my little brother's, and he was purchasing this two-pack that comes with Scorponok for the price of $24.99. So it was only five, uh, five bucks more than the usual Voyager. And he's actually quite available. He's, he has a high amount of availability. I went to Toys R Us one time, and they had a bunch of these two-packs up on the top and a few down on the shelves. So if you're looking for this specific two-pack, they got a bunch of them. However, if you're looking for Blackout specifically, I think you should wait and see if you could find the premium version, the metallic version or else I think you should just settle with this, it's an excellent buy you'll be better off with that alright so there's blackout in package however, uh oh Scorponok is missing yeah that's because I already took Scorponok out and reviewed him and he's currently shooting his scenes for the Transformers stop motion so I'm just going to talk about blackout in this part because I already talked about the schematics for the packaging as well as the details in part one of my Scorponok review. So if you're interested in that, however I doubt it, then go check out that. So I'm just going to talk about uh, blackout specs. You've got blackout on this side. You have his headshot, which looks quite accurate to the movie. You have his name, his allegiance. And on his side, we have the automorph technology description, which you already knew. The Voyager class indentation, vent, um, uh, Decepticon symbol. And it says his name once more. Then we're going to turn it to the back, and you already seen the back. Uh, let's see if I can put it like this. The best way to put this. There, yeah, like this. And you already seen the back. You already seen this, and yeah. I'm going to read to you once more the description or the bio. Roaring in low over the landscape, Blackout pours fire down upon any target that comes within range of his sensors. The only creature for which he displays something other than open contempt is his companion, Scorponok. The frenzy smaller robot serves its huge master more as a pet than a friend, hunting any enemies that tend to flee and drive them towards the larger robot's blazing cannons. Together, they are a relentless force of distraction bent on bathing landscape in superheated plasma charges until the desert itself is a fused broken plane of lifeless glass. <laughs> yeah. He also has a conversion level 3, much like um, Autobot Ratchet. And there he is in robot mode and in vehicle mode. However, his vehicle mode looks a little more, you know, scrunched up. And he had, comes with a little mini Scorponok. <laughs> his specs, uh, strength of 8, an intelligence of 6, a speed of 8, an endurance of 7, a rank of 7, a courage of 5, a fire blast of 9, and a skill of 5. Right there. His name and his legions once more. Alright, took care of that. So yeah, that's pretty much the packaging as well as him inside it. Turn it to this side, and you can see my kind of my reflection right there. But there you have them, all wrapped up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out, finally, and check out the figure itself. All right, so here's Blackout. Blackout is a pave low helicopter, according to the back of the packaging. And of course he appeared in the movie, in fact he had the privilege to be the first Transformer to appear in the feature length film. Quite the honor. 
His color scheme is kind of like this, um, kind of like this very grayish shade of blue, as you can see, as well as black. And there's only a few touches of gold right here in the windows and this ball that I have no reason what it's used for. Or I think it's radar, now that I think about it. And that's pretty much it. Almost no color scheme, you know, variety. And he has some average detail. Like, there's almost not that much, but most of it is put into mold. You, know, you can see the windows right there. You can see the lines that in which the plates form in order to make the helicopter. You got the windows in the cockpit, and you got the little shooting thing. You got this things that are kind of like little tubes, and you got all the windows and stuff. And over here, you got kind of like a rocket of some sort. And of course, you have the uh, blades. You got one blade on top right here, and we have the second blade over here that's loose, along with the red stripe right there. That's pretty much it. He's he he almost there's not much to this figure. Much uh, there's more put into mold, and he's very sturdy and he's quite bulky. But that's a good thing because he's a Voyager class and he's supposed to be this bulky. Uh, he does have wind um, wheels at the bottom. Let's see if I could show you. Right there and right here. So if you could put it on the surface, you could kind of roll it around. However, when you roll it back, it, it kind of like sticks. But when you roll it forward, it goes a little. Well, that's mostly it. There's only a little bit of robot kibble. There's his head right there. And there are his arms right there. There's his hands. But other than that, it's pretty much concealed. And only if you look at it from the bottom. If you look at it from the top, you almost don't see anything. He does have gimmicks in this mode, of course. We have the first one. We have this lever over here in the back. And when you press the lever, yeah, the propellers spin. However, I don't like it how the propellers don't keep spinning when you let go. When you let, when you stop pressing, they stop automatically. So it's kind of, you know, you have to keep going like this in order to get it running. Second gimmick is over here in the back. We have a cage, and you have this button right here. Press the cage. Oh, I mean press the cage. Press the button, and the cage opens, and out comes Mini Scorponok. However, I hate this Scorponok. Why? It's it doesn't move almost. Only the tail moves, and it has a poor color scheme. It has it's like gray and silver. I like how the new premium version of this figure is coming out with a very detailed Mini Scorponok. I dig it. And I put it back in the cage and lock it in place. There we go. And that's pretty much him by himself. But wait, there's more. Call right now, and I'll triple the offer. No, I'm just kidding. He has one other gimmick, and it, it only works if you have Deluxe Scorponok. You twist his tail this way like this so you can make room. You put the arms down a little bit. And as you can see, mini, um, Deluxe Scorponok, I mean, has two holes right there and a peg right there. At the bottom of Blackout, he has two pegs right there and a hole right there. Simply fit them into place. Let's see if I can. Where does it go? Okay, there we go. Like that, there you go, they're hooked up. And now watch the pincers and the propeller as I press the lever once more. So look at this. Check that out. Oh, dang, it let loose. Hold on. I demonstrate it once more. Yeah. Press it all the way in. Uh, for some reason, the left one is not spinning, but that one is, and the propeller is spinning as well. So you can kind of get the idea if you hook it up to the bottom. Uh, Scorponok also works, and it's a nice little gimmick how they use the the uh, the uh, deluxe Scorponok in this. And I put it to the side, back to blackout. You could move the propellers around, but that's more for his robot mode. But other than that. He's a good figure in this mode. He's very detailed. Well, not incredibly detailed, but he's a good mold and very realistic to a payload helicopter. So now I guess I'm going to go ahead and transform him onto his robot mode.